I wanted to say that I never wanted to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> I was about to get promoted. And that for me was a sign that I needed to quit. I want to create environmental and social impact. I want to reinforce women's health in this region through the narrative of beauty. When I started my career, I worked for 10 years in various firms. But I also, as an architect, want to know everything. I want to know everything in that space. I would go as a very junior architect and ask, why, why is it, why are you doing that? And they would say, okay, go away. <laughs> so when I actually decided to quit, uh, I wanted to create a firm which in everybody knows what is going on on a project. I was in the corporate world for about 17 years and I was about to get promoted. And that for me was a sign that I needed to quit. <laughs> Um, I try to visualize my life for the next 15 years, working 15 hours a day, seven days a week in that world and I didn't see myself fit in anymore. I wanted to do something that I know, which is launching businesses in the digital space and combine it with something which makes business sense and uh, it's just a lot of fun to do it. Beauty industry happens to be a $500 billion dollar industry and I just wanted to be a part of it. I want to create environmental and social impact. I want to reinforce women's health in this region through the narrative of beauty. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I found it really frustrating to not be able to find any skincare and beauty products that didn't have harmful chemicals and toxins in them that would eventually impact my fertility and disrupt my hormones. And it's that frustration that inspired me uh, to create a brand one day that women would identify with uh, as being authentic. So that is how we started. The event that we will be having this week is around female founders and their path from corporate leadership to entrepreneurship. And we are looking forward to having you here with us this week at the Capital Club. <laughs>